So almost two weeks ago, I did a video on the Onkyo RZ50 A receiver, which has HDMI 2.1 ports that worked with the Xbox Series X in terms of 4K 120Hz output. Now, since then, LG has issued a firmware update on their C1 and G1 OLED TVs, which added 4K 120Hz Dolby Vision support for gaming. And in this video, I'm going to test out whether the Onkyo RZ50 also supported partial of 4K 120Hz Dolby Vision gaming signal. So if I can show you this settings screen here on the Xbox Series X, if we go into TV and display options and click on 4K TV details, you can see that even though we are routing the cable from the Xbox Series X through this Onkyo RZ50 AV receiver to the LG C1, this is a 65 inch model here, you can see that the Xbox is still recognizing the TV as capable of supporting Dolby Vision for gaming at 4K 120Hz, which is fantastic. So which means that, you know, this AV receiver is probably going to be as future proof, you know, famous last words <laughs> as it can be up to 40 gigabits per second, which is the limitation of the Xbox Series X anyway. And if I get out from here and go into the home dashboard and try and start a game. Let's start, you know, Forza Horizon 4. And then what we will do is to, first of all, bring up the freezing information bar. But before that, you know, I want to show you that it is indeed in Dolby Vision. You can see the Dolby Vision notification popping up at the top right corner of the screen. And then if I can go into the user menu, you can see that it is indeed defaulting to Dolby Vision Game Optimizer Picture Mode, which is the best way to enjoy games, you know, for the lowest input lag. And if I can summon the freezing information bar on this LG C1, you can see that it is UHD resolution 120 frames per second, and it is using 32 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. VR is active as well and it is probably in 12-bit YCBCR422. The reason why it is being labeled as 8-bit is because, you know, to a sync device, meaning the television, a YCBCR422 package, you know, the sync device can never tell whether it is 8-bit, 10-bit, or 12-bit. And conservatively, LG OLEDs always report it as 8-bit. So it is very likely to be 12-bit here to give us 32 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. So it is indeed working, you know, at least, you know, from this game. And if I can get out from the dashboard and maybe, you know, start Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War again. And, you know, I don't have any sponsorship deal with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War to keep using it. But, you know, the reason why I use it is because it goes into a very nice cutscene from the off, you know, without me needing to press any buttons or anything so that is the reason why I'm using it and you can see that it is still in Dolby Vision and if I can you know show you that it is in Dolby Vision game optimizer mode and yeah I think you know it works you know as you can see and another question that a lot of people have been asking in the comment section of my previous YouTube video is whether adding an AV receiver into the video chain from, let's say, your game console to the TV will add any input lag to your gaming experience. So I'll just show you what's happening here right now. So you can see that I'm at the Onkyo home screen, and if I can exit from it, I've hooked up my Leo Botna 4K lag tester, and you can see that at 60 frames per second, the input lag is exactly the same as what it was without the presence of an AV receiver, which is under 10 milliseconds at 60 frames per second, if we enable boost mode on the LG C1. And then if we switch to 120 frames per second, then you can see that, you know, the input lag is still as low as what it was without the presence of the AV receiver, i.e. under 5 milliseconds. So, at least this Onkyo RZ50 doesn't seem to add any latency or input lag to the video signal, so you can still play games in a very responsive manner. 
Now, one caveat that I have to mention is that, you know, currently we are only using the HDMI 2.0 signaling method of TMDS. And this is because the Leo Botna 4K lag tester is only HDMI 2.0. They haven't actually come out with the HDMI 2.1 version. In fact, I don't think, you know, there are any commercially available lag tester device that is available with HDMI 2.1 besides maybe the upcoming Meridio 8K signal generator which I'm really keen to get my hands on but until I can get my hands on a true HDMI 2.1 lag tester you know I can't actually test the HDMI 2.1 FRL or fixed rate link signaling in terms of the input lag but I would expect it to be the same that you know it won't add any input lag to the equation as well so you can enjoy all your games in a responsive manner if you would like to watch more of our videos on HDMI 2.1, I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it, and I will see you in the next video.